Hello, YouTube. Um, hopefully this is working. Um, got a couple of different things. New light source. I made it myself. Um, if you want to see that in a future video, I can do that. Just like and comment down below. Um, also, hopefully this will work. I got a little microphone. Um, right here. Ooh, look at that light. Uh, it's by Movo. It's the PM10W. Um, and I got it on Amazon. I'm going to link that below. Um, came with a little cool kind of faux leather pouch with a extra ooh, I can get it out of here. Extra microphone cover and clippy. So there's that right there. <clears throat> so hopefully that will work. It says that it works with uh, iPad, iPod, iPod Touch, um, iPhones, smartphones, whatever. So hopefully that is working for you. Um, if it's not, let me know. I'm going to link it down below where you can find that. Okay, jumping right in um, with my whips. Uh, Ming orchids. Uh, unfortunately, this past week I didn't pull Ming orchids out, um, so I didn't work on it. Uh, the Christmas stocking, again, didn't work on on this past week. Um, then my Ireland sampler, which. Look at that glare. Is this from Cross Stitch, uh, just Cross Stitch Magazine, um, April 2017. Um, I worked on it just a little bit, not very much. So, let's see what I did. Um, also, I started doing the little baggy thing. So, <clears throat> for my projects. I need to get project bags, but um, I will in due time. I want to make my own too. But here it is. Um, I got a little bit more down here, a little bit more up here. Um, this this whole border, which is right here. Oops, can't see it. This whole border thing is kind of giving me the fits. Anyway, so there's that. That's what I've done on the Ireland sampler. Um, again, this is stitched on, or is being stitched on, oatmeal 14 count Ada. And there's the, the deal. Um, I chose that. The pattern called for uh, linen, but um, when I was at uh, Joanne's, I saw this. Ooh, that is probably loud in your ears, so. RIP headphone users, I apologize. I need to remember I have a microphone. So, anyway, um, back to the story. So, when I was at Joanne's buying the pattern, um, I just saw that eight o'clock cloth um, right next to, you know, all the other cloths and stuff. And that was the one that screamed to me for that particular pattern. So, that's what I got. Then, Wizard of Oz, <clears throat> very exciting, um, I am done with page one, um, already, um, I did a lot of stitching on it, and so I am done with page one. Ooh, look at that washout. There we go. Done with page one. Ooh, that washout. There we go. So, I finished all the way down here. This is the witch's hat. Um, sh this is her broom, and it is on fire. Um, this is Dorothy's hair. So, I've already started on, on page two, but I did that last video. Um, but page one is completely done. So, there's that. And for those that don't remember, I'm inserting a pic right here of what it will look 
like finished. All right, moving on. So the next one was the Fairy Queen. Um, last time I had not started the Fairy Queen, but I have started the Fairy Queen now. <clears throat> so this is what she will look like when complete. And this is, I started up here. Oop, go away. There we go. Started up here with her wing. And this is where I'm at right now. This is, I can't remember what it's stitched on. Uh, even weave, I think. Mushroom even weave. That's right. It's mushroom even weave. So, here is where I've gotten to. So, that wing is almost done. Um, this is some of her hair, um, and so that's where I'm at. Um, I'm really liking it, so hopefully I can continue and get good progress on her. Then, baby woodland sampler birth announcement, whatever. That is probably really loud. I apologize. <clears throat> um, this is what it's going to look like. So, ooh, look at that glare. Terrible, terrible. There we go. So, it's the Baby Woodland Creatures birth record. Um, I bought it as a kit. Got it on sale because of a coupon at um, Hobby Lobby. But I am not using the supplied threads or fabric. I don't like the fabric. So, I color matched what I thought looked good compared to those colors. And I have not done a lot of progress, sad to say. I have not made very much progress since last video. Um, for some reason, those lines right here, so these yellow lines are very tedious for some reason for me. but. I digress. So, here is where I'm at. So, there's the very edge, and I've done a couple of stripes. I only went down, I think it was 20 blocks, 20 stitches. Might have only been 10, but um, I only went down so far, and then I'm just going to go over and over and over. Um, but there's that. So, I did do more than last time, but not significantly more so I think that wraps it up for my hit uh, my whips so yes that's it for whips now new starts of course I did uh, new start on fairy queen then oh yes where did I put it oh right beside me um, I have another new start and it's called Sweet Dreams. If I can get the book it's out of. Um, this magazine is part of my haul as well. So I'll just go ahead and mention it. It's a Ultimate Cross Stitch magazine. Or Ultimate Cross Stitch Flowers, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Um, got it at Joann's. It was printed in the UK, and it's volume 12, 2016. And this has so many patterns, and I love it. It's so eastery and spring. Um, oop, can't show you that. That's the chart. Um, here is... Oop, I'm covering it up. Here is Sweet Dreams. It's a dream catcher very spring and I love it so started working on that um, <clears throat> and this is on well, I can't tell because I have it backwards it is on whoop, Fiddler's Ada Light Oatmeal well that is just a terrible there you go Fiddler's Ada 14 count light oatmeal and here it is 
so I've gotten quite a good start on it I think um, I'm working right now on the butterfly right here um, so there's that I want to start from the same magazine um, it's called Botanical Beauties um, I guess there's so many things that I want to start but I definitely want to do these it's called Botanical Beauties and they're kind of set up like little postcards with different flowers and things and I thought that that was very pretty and I'm thinking of doing them all as one they're supposed to make them into cards but I think I'm gonna do them all as one or maybe make smalls out of them that's an idea make small little spring pillows um, so I like those and haul so ultimate cross stitch already showed you um, then I have another magazine and I haven't opened the other one that I showed you guys that had the little fairies or whatever <clears throat> um, cross the world of cross stitching magazine um, I don't know what um, volume or anything because I can't tell there's no indications um, also printed in the UK um, and I bought this one specifically because of this three-in-one stitching kit of woodland creatures so it's got a fox a deer and an owl and I bought those specifically for my nephew now we did find out uh, Sunday or Saturday um, that she is having my sister is having a baby boy so that's what we're or what I'm planning on doing uh, in addition to those others so I just thought that those were cute so I had to get it then um, linen bought some linen um, nothing fancy um, I do want to go get some better linen this is from uh, MCG textiles um, it's 32 count linen in oyster um, I looked at it as much as I could obviously and with it being in the package but it doesn't look like it's got a lot of the slubs or anything I mean it, it has a few here and there but no it doesn't appear to be any great big huge slubs um, anyway so there's that I have no idea what I'm gonna use it on I just really liked it then I have uh, while I was at Joann's they had these by the flosses because I was buying floss for some other things so bam I was buying more floss you don't want to see those um, I got this DMC light effects cross stitch pattern it was a freebie um, and it says light up my life with some fireworks um, they've got it framed I think I would do a small with it put it make a little kind of patriotic 4th of July like pillow or whatever then they had this DMC color variations cross stitch pattern and it says uh, stitch the rainbow and I thought that that was just gorgeous so stitch the rainbow so they had those and then I got new needles I got size 24 and 26 tapestry needles you might notice that there's one missing out of the 24 but I'm using it now on one of my projects I don't know which one uh, oh the sweet dreams I'm using it on that but so I got those and then something that I've been wanting to get for the longest time and every time I go I forget about it or I can't find it I finally got thread magic finally got thread magic at Joann's so I've already used it a couple of times so you can see my little line there oh my gosh I don't know what I did without this I've only used it a couple of times and it's 
amazing. Absolutely amazing. Then I want to do kind of shout outs. Um, Ginger Gerald Stitcher, I'll link them below, um, gave me a huge shout out and I want to thank him so much for that. Um, and then I want to thank all of you subscribers. Um, we, last time I checked, we were at, I think it was 420 subs, subscribers, which is just crazy. Um, this has been growing a whole lot quicker than I thought it would. So, um, thank you. And if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, rate, subscribe, share it to your friends. Um, and then last but not least, I got a beautiful gift. Um, and she gave me permission to talk about it. Um, I got a beautiful gift from Janice. She's from Washington. She reached out to me because she had one of the patterns that I was looking for. And um, I'll show you the one that I have, which is my Ming, Ming orchids. Um, if I can find it, I got it up here somewhere. Should have had it already out, shouldn't I have? No, oh, maybe I don't have it over here. I don't have it over here, it's over there. Anyway, so Ming orchids, <clears throat> there's an accompanying piece, and then there's two other pieces. Um, one's a phoenix and one is a dragon. So, she reached out to me, she said that she had it, and she sent me it. Um, she said she bought it years ago and wasn't um, going to use it. And I don't want to show you yet. Um, she did a little beautiful card, little birds. Uh, this was beautifully packaged. I got it yesterday. Um, but just beautiful card. Very thoughtful, and I am so appreciative. Um, I'm excited to start this, but... <laughs> I should probably wait till I get through some of my other whips. Um, maybe when I finish one of them, which shouldn't be too long. Like the baby sampler shouldn't take me too long. But she sent me the Imperial Dragon, which is just beautiful. The Imperial Dragon from Serendipity Designs. Um, Carol and Meacham is the designer. Um, absolutely gorgeous and um, my Chinese zodiac is actually a dragon so I just thought how fitting it was that she had the imperial dragon um, beautiful so here's the pieces so the Ming peonies I don't have Ming peonies I do have the Ming orchids which I am currently working on and then there was the Imperial Phoenix and the Imperial uh, Dragon. So now I've got two of the four. Now I'm on the hunt for the other two. Um, I believe I found the Phoenix on, I think it's Serendipity's website. I could be wrong. But there's those. I just, I can't even. It's beautiful. Anyway. I love you. Oh, sorry. Big thing. She sent me a package of six of these um, magnets that are specifically for whoop, needleworking, um, cross stitching, quilting, needlepoint, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you can't see that. Um, I think the brand is Zeka, maybe. You, know, you just can't see that, can you? Anyway, there's this, there's these uh, blue magnets. I'm already using them. As you can see, I didn't switch them on Wizard of Oz, um, but I am using them on uh, Sweet Dreams. So I've got them right here. Anyway, I think that's it. Um, I'm gonna link everything down below. 
Uh, again, please let me know how the microphone worked and how the light is. Um, I'm still trying to get used to it because I'm not used to it, so I need to figure out proper placement. So please bear with me as I mess with that. Um, and I will catch you, I guess, probably Tuesday. Um, I've decided my second video of the week because I was trying to do Mondays and Fridays. My second video of the week is going to be Tuesdays um, because when I film it on Monday, um, I'm not able to get it uploaded till after I get off work, which is midnight. So then it's Tuesday. So I will catch you guys Tuesday. If you don't want to see my drive to work, then I will see you back on Friday for Floss Tube Fridays. Anyway, have a great night and happy stitching.